Sup Shredders, my name is Logan aka Spiderhands and welcome to an SP Reviews where today we have ourselves a track from an act named Flowers for Juno titled Physical Culture. And if we switch over to here we have ourselves a track on YouTube and listen through it from start to finish. We're gonna hear what we think. Also she mentioned as well that I was given a copy of the lyrics however I'm unable to open the file so I'm hoping to hear the lyrics within the song but let's, let's do this, let's go. Sizzly guitars on the side there, and synths. I like the variation with the percussion. And also how the vocals go around the stereo field, I think that's an interesting sort of decision to make. Short chorus, back to the harmonic refrain. Nice little bit of variation, simply to the size there. I'll be honest, I know I'm probably going to get in trouble for this, but I'm going to say it anyways. I think it's okay to have a style of, you know, vocals where, because again, like I remember reading that they were kind of inspired by bands like him and stuff like that. I think the sound of the vocals is great. I think the way we are holding pitch and harmonizing with the rest of the arrangement is great. I mean, I'm just not getting a lot of the the words through clearly and it's a shame because i often get sent lyric stuff but in the same realm it's like should i need a lyric sheet in order to be understanding what the words say see you again, see you again. there we go that one and it was save for me so i'm wondering if this is about physical attraction between people is it about actually being there in person Couldn't tell me your name. Really fragrant mono solo going into the harmonized parts here. It harmonized a lot, dual leads. I mean, it's nice to the line come out here as well, I suppose, for a shift in dynamics. So that was some vocal, like a scream, the singer or something like that go around the headphones. I, I think I'll, one of the things I really appreciate about this track is the sound design, the studio production, but talk about that more in the conclusion.
And welcome to the conclusion of my review of this track from an act named uh, Flowers for Juno titled Physical Culture. Now, again, the point of contention is going to be, you know, what do I think this track is about? I've spoken about how I didn't get all the words through clearly, so I'm going to base it on what I understood. I think that this uh, this song is about someone who is um, maybe sort of like wondering if they're going to see that other person again, want to know their name, want to have, actually have something tangible in regards to the person they're trying to interact with. Um, they want them to savor them, so I assume they want them to make the most of what's available, etc. There could be some sort of like physical attraction sort of stuff related to it as well, I'm not sure, but either way, that's my take on it. Again, the vocal style is that where we have a legato, we have a lack of uh, definition to a lot of the words that come through. It's very kind of kind of dragged, and I don't necessarily have an issue with that. I liked this kind of music back when I was a teenager because I grew up around the time that him and stuff were putting out music. It uh, it's good. The guitar riffs, the bass, drums, the synth parts, the keys are all very stellar, and I like the way they were combined here. It wasn't just one sort of main idea. We sat on the whole time. We had a variety of different ideas, not too much so that it detracts from the main concept, but enough to keep things sounding fresh. It's just that I didn't get the words clearly. That's really the only complaint I have. If it is a complaint, I'm wondering if there could have been more definition. I mean, there, I think there was an attempt at more definition within the chorus part, to be fair, because I got those words through clearly. Maybe that's also through repetition but it could also be because of the effects and stuff like that and if we want that kind of misty uh consistency there that's cool it's just how it is i mean the track at three minutes 30 had verses it had chorus sections like a main hook line with distorted guitars rhythms on the side there really sparkly upper edge synths niching nicely and the frequency spectrum there with the bass down the bottom sort of really sort of pungent and uh full of life and vigor and the drums were nice and thick and full-bodied as well if I talk about the individual instruments, I think that the guitarist just had a nice sort of cymbal power chordy bendy riff there with some lead parts later on that uh, didn't obviously the welcome, didn't sort of overpower the rest of the lead bits and I think it was really uh, well phrased there. We stayed kind of pretty with the, like there was a nice contrast between the downtuned power chords there with the distortion of the chugs and it was, you know, in comparison to the leads we had later on which we were sort of sparkled. They niche nicely with what we had going on with the keys there which were meant to sort of be like stars in the sky and I think that um, the, the no choices there staying away from extensions and the harmonies there simply trying to sort of work around you know like the, the natural major minors just simplified the overall um, chord progressions and stuff in a way that would make it more accessible I think that the range with the drums the way we were phrased there was great I think that we had a nice control of the kit we kept in time there we kept a sense of groove and pace throughout the track there when we were gone we missed it when we were there we enjoyed it and um, there was a nice mixture of different fills and there without sort of sticking on the main groove for one too long but we also pocketed to allow south space for other musicians within the mix and the bass guitar as well uh, we knew and definitely knew when that wasn't there it was so full in the low end there it had a great sense of heaviness in part due to how things were stacked and we started we stayed with the root notes i think that's all we really needed it was uh bigger because of that bigger sound and because of that and things floated when it wasn't there so i think it was a nice juxtaposition and contrast there but uh, ultimately i think the theme itself kind of did sound sort of magical we had parallel majors that we were using in the progressions there to kind of play around and flirt with the idea of accidents or chromatics within the uh, the piece and i think that they were satisfying to listen to they were like energetic and refined and when you can compare with like the delay and reverb tails it almost seems like you're going to sort of like a fantasy land or something like that it's like a succulent meal it's uh, something that I enjoyed listening to. I think it would have been a little bit too sort of dire sounding if we'd stayed within the bounds of the typical major minor keys. So I'm glad that we experimented with different ideas like that. I think that the overall structure of it flowed seamlessly. There wasn't a note out of place and there was a clear chemistry between the various members of the band. It sounded like it was commercial grade from a performance perspective as well as from a studio perspective because if I talk about the studio production and recording, mixing and mastering, I think that was well handled as well. Clearly we understand uh, not just how to capture really great vocal takes, the guitars, bass and drums and keys came through really uh, neatly as well. It was also the way the vocals were panned and sort of the automation around the headphones and stuff like that kind of simmered around and squeezed and uh, the music surrounded you you could interact and sort of follow it and it was nice use of the sense of dimensionality to it to make it more than just like a live show it was like a, you're having your own sort of little movie inside your headphones i, I appreciated that 
I think that things were well leveled in the mix. Things were nicely sort of stacked within the Freaksy's picture in stereo field. Uh, it was nice and wide and full. There was dynamic range to it. Things were not the same loudest all the time. And it was nice and loud without pumping. And ultimately, I think that, again, it did remind me of a lot of the bands I used to listen to in the mid 2000s. I just really look forward to Flowers for Juno also finding their sound if they haven't already. I'm not, uh, this doesn't sound the same as bands like him, for example. There's little bits of difference there. I think it's uh, with the front person of him i think it's very difficult to replicate their sort of approach to things and i look forward to seeing what flowers for juno do in future considering this first impression but this is of course because this is their first single release i think it's incredibly strong but this is my review of this track from flowers for juno titled physical culture and hopefully you enjoy it if you did please go show us some love via the various social medias and their youtube page and stay cool and stay safe and please remember to support your local musicians and artists at this point in time as they to help more than ever thought of crazy stuff going on in the world and I'll catch you in the next review. Spider hands out. <laughs>